Hi guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and it's good to be back here to talk to you about some elite soccer predictions for this week in February 9th to the 10th, and some big games going on over in Europe. Uh, I'm a bit under the weather, as you can tell, but that hasn't stopped a lot of the great football action going on in Europe and on the continent, uh, in both uh, England and Germany, as well as uh, Italy and Spain and uh, France for that matter. But some big games coming up in the leagues. And of course, the Champions League will be starting up again next week on February 12th. So that's a, a great uh, Valentine's Day or, or near Valentine's Day gift for everyone who wants to watch some excellent football action and get in on some fantastic betting. Now, let's look at a few games this week. And of course, you can go to Z Code System and check out the blog, uh, my latest blog, looking at some of these games that I'm going to talk to you about in this video. And of course, you can go to Z Code System and sign up, get all the perfect automated picks to get in on the betting and to win profit. So let's look at those games that I, I've already alluded to. And the first one we're going to look at this week is the Madrid Derby. Real Madrid taking on Atletico Madrid at uh, Atletico Madrid's stadium, the Wanda Metropolitano. And as you can see, Atletico Madrid burning hot down right now and Real Madrid burning hot uh, Atletico Madrid did lose at the weekend. They lost a 1-0 fixture to Real Betis away, uh, while Real Madrid did pick up all three points in a 3-0 win over Alavesh. Now, Real Madrid has really turned things on since Christmas, as you can see, uh, since January 13th. They have won four straight games, and they have climbed up the table. They are just two points behind Atletico Madrid in the La Liga table. Atletico uh, as you can see there, they won three games previously to that loss uh, to Real Betis. Uh, Atletico Madrid is uh, in second place right now, but uh, they are losing their grip on it a little bit. They don't score a lot of goals in La Liga, but the good thing is they don't concede a lot. They've only conceded 14 goals this season, which is the lowest in the league. Uh, unfortunately for Diego Simeone and his team, they were unable to cut Barcelona's lead at the top of the table, who Barcelona drew the weekend to Valencia. Uh, but again, unfortunately, Atletico Madrid unable to make up any ground, and they will be hoping to hold off Real Madrid in this game. Now, the score prediction for this game is a 3-1 to one win for Atletico Madrid. Now, before I give you my prediction, let's take a look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams over the last few meetings. And as you can see, the last three games that these two teams have played uh, have all been draws. And those games have also been low scoring, 2 0 nil results and a 1-1 result. Um, for me, this game is going to go in that similar pattern. Atletico Madrid, as I said, they do not give up a lot of goals. Uh, they don't score a lot of goals either. Um, but playing at home, they should be buoyed by their home supporters. I think this game is going to finish in a, in a draw, uh, perhaps a score draw with Kareem Benzema, who is in fine form for Real Madrid, finding the back of the net. So 1-1 one, one is how this one will finish in, is my prediction. And uh, neither team able to really make up any ground on Barcelona, who will be playing away to Athletic Bilbao. So uh, a 1-1 one, one result there at the Wanda Metropolitano on Saturday. Now, let's take a look at uh, another fixture that's going to be happening this weekend. And we're going to go to Germany for this one, as we see Bayern Munich taking on Schalke. Bayern Munich coming into this game, burning hot down as well. They lost at the weekend. As you can see here, they lost at the weekend in a bit of a shock result, a 3-1 result to Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, that was an away loss for Bayern Munich. And before that, you can see that they were really scoring goals uh, with their results against their rivals in Germany. Uh, Schalke having a bit of a poor season this year. They are 12th place right now in the Bundesliga, which is a shock because last year they finished second in the Bundesliga. So a very down year. They've had to play and uh, uh, they've been playing in the Champions League as well. And uh, they've not been able to uh, play in both both uh, competitions equally. So uh, they lost at the weekend to Borussia Mönchengladbach 2-0. Uh, prior to that, they had a draw with Hertha Berlin. So uh, this game is going to be played at the Allianz Arena in Munich with Bayern uh, going up against Schalke. And we'll take a look at the head-to-head -head before I give you my prediction for this game. Uh, and as you can see, Bayern Munich have won uh, many of these last few fixtures between the teams. And that's 10 fixtures, as you can see, that Bayern Munich have gone without defeat 
to Schalke. And I really can't go against this run of form that Bayern's been on against Schalke. And I predict a Bayern win for this game. They'll get back to winning ways. And it's uh, really important for them to do so as the Champions League is starting back up. Uh, next week, Bayern Munich will be playing Liverpool in the round of 16 in the Champions League. So they really need to get a win to spur them on in that competition and give them some momentum uh, going into that. So uh, I see Bayern Munich coming through with a win. And you know what? I like that 3-0 scoreline to Bayern Munich at home. Now I want to take a look at one more game this week. And for this one, we're going to fly over to England and we're going to head up to Manchester to see this game. And that is going to be Chelsea taking on Manchester City at the Itahad, at the Itahad Stadium on Sunday, uh, February 10th, as uh, Manchester City had the opportunity to go top of the Premier League table. Um, City do play in midweek. They are one of only two English teams that will be playing in midweek. They play Everton, and that game will be at Goodison Park in Liverpool. City can go top of the league in that game. Liverpool have slipped up in their last two games, drawing both. Um, City with a win, they would uh, with a win over Everton. That is, they would go level with Liverpool on points, but they do have a superior goal difference. And City are playing very well right now, burning hot as you can see. They won at the weekend. They defeated Arsenal three uh, one. Prior to that, though, they did slip against Newcastle. They allowed Newcastle two second half goals uh, to lose that game. But other than that, that's been the only real blip on their uh, results list uh, over the last month or so. Chelsea, a bit of an enigma right now. Uh, they are in the top four uh, in the Premier League, but this is a team that they look great one week, but they you know, slip up the next week. As you can see, they suffered two straight defeats, uh, which 2-0 to, to Arsenal, that's that's an okay result. Those two teams quite evenly matched at the moment, but that 4-0 result to Bournemouth, that was a, a bit of an embarrassing loss there uh, by Chelsea. But they did rebound over the weekend with a 5-0 win against Huddersfield, but that has to be taken with a bit of uh, a grain of salt, that is, because Huddersfield are bottom of the table in the Premier League and they are headed back to the Championship uh, after two years in the Premier League. They will be relegated. Um, this is uh, going to be a huge fixture because it's going to have some title implications as we go uh, into the final part of the season. Only 13 games uh, remain this year. And as you can see, the last two games between these two teams uh, have resulted in home wins. Chelsea winning earlier this season at Stamford Bridge. Before that, Manchester City won 1-0 uh, at the Etihad Stadium last March. City have had um, excellent form uh, against Chelsea in their recent 10 games, as you can see. Uh, these teams have also been quite evenly matched. Um, I'm going to go with a home win again. I predict Manchester City to uh, tighten their grip or uh, as they go for the Premier League uh, title right now. Uh, Chelsea, again, like I said, an enigma. And City are just that much better uh, than Chelsea right now. And with Liverpool slipping up in their last two games, two straight draws, Pep Guardiola's Manchester City smell blood. Uh, they're like sharks in the water right now, and I predict a Manchester City win. Should be quite narrow uh, in that result, but uh, City do have the firepower uh, in attack to uh, to take all three points and to solidify their spot right now at the top of the table uh, as they go forward. Now, um, if you want to go to our blog, there is a, a fourth prediction I made in our latest blog on Z Code System. And you can check that out. That is the game between Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona. That will be coming up in La Liga on Sunday evening. And that uh, that should be a, a cracking game with um, uh, some title implications there. And guys, of course, you can always go to Z Code System, sign up and join us and get automated picks. You don't have to do any of the work. All you have to do is go and get those picks, make your bets and rake in the profits uh, with Z Code system. And, uh, you know, we hope you guys have a great weekend of football betting. And we'll see you next week when we get back to our next predictions for football.